Good morning. Welcome to Pillow Talk with Pink. My name is Antoinette Sellers. I am Pink. I am coming to you live in reference to traveling accommodations and hmm, safety. Make sure you have your ID. Make sure you have the exact funds and make sure you've paid ahead and made arrangements for your travel information. When I travel or when I travel, whether it be for work or for leisure, I always book my accommodations and make secondary accommodations just in case something go wrong or I always list a contact person or have a contact person and a list of phone numbers in case things just don't work out. I, I'm fortunate. I know somebody in every city and state. Uh, it's a blessing when you have a huge BPS family and friends there, it's, it's a large organization. Um, the thing of it is, when you go somewhere, you have to know the rules and regulations and pay the taxes and the fees and make sure you pay for your rental or your apartment or your duplex complex or wherever you're gonna stay. Make sure you pay the appropriate people. So if you look it up and, you may, and it says Peter John, but it's under BPS Realty, then you need to contact BPS Realty because Peter John may be uh, someone unknown, which he probably really is because we do our own stuff. And um, we're taking a lot of people to court and it's unfortunate that innocent people got wrapped up in it and are in BPS property. But if you would assist and give a copy of the documents, we can go after the correct person. We're not out to hurt you but sometimes you get hurt in the mix because there's mortgages on those properties and mortgage lenders, they're gonna be paid no matter what, which means there's gonna be an eviction process, there's gonna be a lien on your property, and you're gonna to have to pay for the amount of time you were there, whether you were there or not, because the amount of time it should have been empty to the time they find you in there is what they're going after. There are some, um, things you can't put on a, uh, what do they say, bankruptcy, uh, chapter seven, where it goes away and uh, you don't want that no way. So a uh, chapter 13, you'll pay and you'll pay and you'll pay a chapter seven, it, some of the things go away. But in the end, people know what you did and who you did it to. And BPS is a huge family. It's global. Um, things are all around the world. It's not a good thing uh, when you do that. So I'm telling you, when you go somewhere, keep your ID, make sure you made proper arrangements, make sure you paid, make sure you paid. If you came to sell something there or be a vendor there or anything of any sort, make sure you paid your way through because we hate for you to get snatched up and taken to prison, jail, whatever, or detained or all your belongings taken from you because you set up vending or services somewhere where you weren't supposed to be. That's another issue. So they're having a lot of events, but make sure you get the proper documentations, the cards and everything so you can appropriately participate in the activities and legally stay in the places that you're supposed to stay. Nobody likes confusion. Nobody, nobody. But BPS is global. So being BPS consultant and a face for BPS Make sure you do the right thing because BPS put liens on houses, homes, property, cars, boats, planes. They don't care. But I'm telling you, I'm just being honest. They have mortgages and mortgage lenders want to be paid. We don't want to have an upside down situation economically due to the poor planning of anyone. Thank you so very much. My name is Antoinette Sellers. Have a great summer. This is summer madness. You see my hair sweated out. It's 100 degrees in the shade, honey. It's hot as Sam Hill, all kind of stuff going on. They cleaning it up, trying to clean it up. Those that ain't cleaning up. Oh, I hope they earning something now. Look at that. Who gonna do this hair? Just know, however curly it is, it's gonna curl up and go back. It's, it's not, it, it don't stay. Plus I shower too much. And it just, you know, it just draw back up. But it's a nice gray to hair. It's easy. Anyway, I don't like my hair. Everybody knows it. So we always, I always talk about it. But 
BPS Realty and Healthcare Group is a disaster and traumatic experience group. They assist with resources. We used to assist with housing, but I just told you what happened to the housing. So we give away the uh, survival kits and survival packs to a lot of people when we're out and we're walking about and we, sometimes we just pass them out or sometimes we do a lot of different things and we host a lot of events. Um, we're going to do a couple of cruises this year. Uh, a couple of people will go to uh, a different places. It might not be me, but you'll have a great time anyway. There's a lot, huge BPS family. You never know who you with. We shake hands with so many people. Um, but I do ask this. When you go and you travel with BPS, you be mindful and respectful of other people's cultures, religion, and their ways of life. Um, nosy people, invasion of privacy, that don't happen in BPS. You know, we don't do that. We consult with each other. We talk to each other. We come and try to talk to each other and mend things out. We don't pry into other people's lives. That's not our place nor our function. You know, in some cities and state, invasion of privacy is a felony. And that's a huge charge. And it's something you don't want in your record, but BPS seems to have to put it on a lot of people's records these days. So at any rate, my name is Antoinette Sellers. Welcome to Pillow Talk with Pink. I'm a consultant for BPS Realty. This company was owned by eight people, beautiful people, outstanding, well-rounded people. And they all got together and said, should anything happen, they're giving it to a five-year-old. And we just put the names in the head of all the five-year-olds we knew. And we pulled the name in. They pulled my grandson. And it's amazing. He don't even know, but he's he's well blessed. In the end, hopefully he'll he'll come into some of it. But BPS is looking to sell some of the properties due to the fact that they had the squatters and things there. A lot of people don't want to go back to the properties they were using as party houses or what have you. So they don't want to go back. So they want to sell a lot of them and purchase something else. Um, as I said, BPS is global. So it's a whole group of people from other places and other walks of life and other cultures and other city, states, countries. And they put together, it's bigger than NATO, but they put together and they made it happen for people when they subjected to disasters or traumatic experiences. And it's a beautiful thing. And every now and then they give stuff away. But I haven't given not one thing away in over 20 years. I try to and I go there and somebody else is there. So I can't give nothing away because somebody's there. But it's not authorized by none of the BPS people. So we're like, hmm, hmm. Did they know it's a mortgage on this one? So we wouldn't have did this. We wouldn't have did this. So you guys don't know where the mortgage is at, but we do. But however, you need to come out of those. And you will be fine for the entire mortgage plus print plus interest and for the taxes and insurance. See, we don't, we are not for profit organization and we put in for different things where we get assistance with our taxes and, and the property bills and things like that. But when you're in there and you're not a person that had a disaster or a traumatic experience that came through BPS, we don't get funded for you. So when certain people place you in other people property, we're going after them because they're the ones that we really want. They never had the property or the means to bring you here or to help you. And they should have contacted BPS and you should have contacted BPS. I'm sure all of you received a letter in the mail stating BPS, the address and everything that you could have sent everything to the consultant, which is me. I would have got it and I would have distributed it to the other members of the uh, company. You know, when you disturb order, a lot of things happen. And I try not to disturb order because I don't really like going to court. And you know, when I go to court, they ramble through this bag. I carry this big old bag, right? And it has a lot of documents in it, but nobody knows what it is. But at any rate, it's a lot of junk in there. They search it, search it, search it, and they steal things out. So my headphones are missing. They took my razor, my my uh, fingernail clips. It, I mean, you know, and when I come back out and I say, oh, can I get my things back? No. They throw them away. They took a can of ravioli because I always keep emergency food just in case anything happened. I'm out and about and I can't. Uh, I don't know. I I always just keep something I can pop open and eat in case anything happened. I had to go sit somewhere for hours and hours and can't get to nowhere where I could get me some pizza. You know what it was. I was going after some Chinese food. 
But at any rate, don't disturb order and be careful who you steal from because I out it all, all the time. So my earplugs that I talk to my team, they're black. They come in a little black case. They charge up, but we have a receiving device we've attached so we can hear each other talk or we can talk to each other without interrupting or disturbing other people. So I don't know who they listening to today or what kind of music they listening to or who took them. Or maybe they threw them in the garbage at the courtroom or maybe the, the sheriffs, they pocketed them like the other stuff they took. But at any rate, stop. And this is why people get fired from their positions and their job from stealing. Don't steal. It, it, I mean, this is how you feed your family. Is it worth it? You still in uh, remedial things and stuff like that from people. It, there's a video and I'm going to post it where the lady, the blind man goes to the airport and they steal the money out the suitcase and then all that. I thought that was the cutest little thing. Then there's a video they used to show when you get employment and the lady goes around with a bag of money saying, can she help you? Can she help you? She want to make a donation. She want to make a donation. And they boot her out and uh, she never gets to make this donation. She, oh, I'll try again tomorrow. All of those stories and all those things remind me so much of BPS. But however, those cars, boats, planes, houses, you're going to get a lien on your property for disturbing. Those of you who went into the units and stole the furniture and other items, the cars and different things from their painting them. I don't know what you did. Put other VIN numbers. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, that's sad. Because 1-800-CARS, they're giving cars away. And that's on my list of people to call and to get cars. Um, you're, you're making it bad for yourself. I mean, a lot of people are here to help you. We understand the challenging times that's going on in the world. It's not just America. It's everywhere. You know, A lot of people came from different countries, different cities, different states to America for safety and for who knows what other reason but at any rate hopefully they're non-disturbing to the cultures and ways of the American people my name is Antoinette Sellers this is BPS Realty and Healthcare Group I'm an independent candidate for the president for the 47th president of the United States of America look at this hair this is just horrible um I'm always talking about something right, but I'm telling you the truth. When you disturb order and when you run people's mortgages and stop their payments and things like that, those of you who was in units for COVID, the pandemic and never paid a dime, those people still have those mortgages. Reach out to uh, the cities and states that you live in for rental assistance so they can get some of that back pay. They thought that they would have a COVID stipend for homeowners or property owners, but none, but they didn't, uh, nothing ever came out. Um, and we need one that's not so sophisticated because we have a lot of people that stay somewhere where they shouldn't. And we need to put a little money back so these people don't lose their homes and their property. We don't want to turn the world upside down economically. We did subprime mortgages. It was subprime uh, economic crisis, and we don't want to do another one. So let's help these people, uh, whether it's a nonprofit, whether it's for profit, or whether it's a private owner or the small man or the small woman, we don't want them to lose their property. We still have a lot of people who are struggling to meet the mortgage payments. Some of the mortgage companies rolled them over to the back of the uh, mortgage and others broke it down and gave them a forbearance in, but it increased the mortgage. It made it that much harder on them. And a lot of the tenants, they just packed up and moved out and found something else and left the hardship and the burden on the person who helped them. So let's reach out to these homeowners or apartment owners, uh, these people that do these rentals and assist them somehow. Vote pink in 2024. It's not about you, but it is about us. Have a great day.